In this class, I'm going to show you how I paint my half-loose, half-sharp flowers. Um, I'm going to do a delphinium, and I've drawn it very loosely. Um, I'm not getting into detail on this picture. It's more about the form of the flower instead of the technical details. I've made a copy of this drawing for you, and it is in the class materials, so go and take a look at the class materials. There's one that is printable on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, and that would be suitable for an eight by 10 painting. And then there's a larger one which will fit on, which will fit on a, an 11 by 14 piece of paper. So how I got started painting like this to begin with is I started with very technical drawings, very um, intricate drawings of animals. That's how I began my art career. And I really liked that, doing that for a while. Um, that technical detail really pleased me. Um, but as I'm getting older, I'm starting to loosen up. However, I haven't lost that desire to see that sharpness. So what my art is evolving into is sort of a half technical, a half loose style and um, I'm going to show you how I achieve that. In um, On this flower I'm just going to use a, a three colors. This These are my White Knights watercolors. If you have these um, you can use the same colors I am using or you can choose your own. I'm choosing to use my bright blue, my ultramarine blue, and my violet. And I have those colors in here as well. I am going to give them a quick mist. Get them nice lubricated up here. And I just, I'm going to be using, sometimes dipping out of here, and sometimes dipping right into my pans, depending on the strength of the water of the colors that I want. I'm going to be using a couple brushes, uh, painting brushes, and a brush that I use to pull, to, to go in at the edge of the color and pull, pull it out. Um, so um, the first thing I'm going to do though is I'm going to wet both sides of the paper. And uh, the reason I'm, I'm, go I'm going to wet the back first. The reason I'm doing that is that this paper is not stretched. I I never stretch my paper. My style just doesn't require that. When you stretch paper and then they tape it down, or some people staple it down, even tape that artists recommend has never worked for me to actually hold my paper down at the edges. So I just do it like this. And what this does for me is two things. It's I'm going to let this water soak in for maybe about 15 minutes before I start painting. The water will go all the way through. By wetting both sides of the paper, the front and the back, I will not get any buckles. Um, I may get a, get a buckle as it stretches, and if I do, I'll just pick it up and pull it and straighten it out. But within 15 minutes, the paper is going to be completely saturated, but it's going to be very still, still very wet. And at that point, I have a couple of choices. I can re-wet it. I can go, um, I can paint wet into wet with, you know, just I can have it wet and put the, drop the paint in. Or I can just, I can just paint it the way it is. And even though it's still very wet, the paint will stay where, uh, where I put it, but it'll have nice soft edges. I have a lot of options at that point in how I can form these flowers. I can have fairly sharp edges. I can request that the paint kind of come out. It just fades very nicely. So I would suggest when you're doing this painting, at least the first time, if you, if you decide you want to paint this uh, several times, that is wonderful. Um, and you can try different methods. So, um, but this, the first time, I would suggest wetting both sides of the paper. Um, I have a board here that is sealed and it, and it can handle the, the water. 
if you are painting on a table that is not treated like that. Um, gator board is an absolutely wonderful surface to work on, especially when you're using a lot of water like this. So, uh, so if you get yourself a sheet of gator board that comes in different thicknesses, uh, you just choose which thickness you want. It, it's very durable. You'll be, if you take care of it, it will last you many years. So um, I would suggest you, uh, I would recommend that you invest in a sheet of gator board. But for this exercise, I'm just working right on my table. Okay, I'm going to let this soak all the way in and I will be back when that has happened.